if we have some data that we want to actually validate, uh, we have a couple of options for how we do that in Google Sheets. So one of the things that we could do is we could select all of these values and we could make sure that we enter valid dates. So we could select all of those and we're going to hit data, go down to data validation, and we're going to say, oh, let's make sure that that's a date. And we'll make sure it's a valid date. In fact, we'll make sure it's a valid date after January 1st. So we can just type 2001-01-01. And we can show a warning or we can say we're not even going to allow that. So let's just try to show a warning right now. And we could say enter, you know, we'll even add an, a validation help text so that enter it says enter a date after 2017-01-01. Now if we hit save, if somebody tries to put in a date here, we'll say uh, 2016-12-20. Well, we're going to get that little indicator saying there's a problem, and it's going to show us our error message there. Uh, the other thing that we could do with those with that range is we could actually select that, go to data validation, and instead of showing a warning, we could reject that input. And if we save that, now when we put a new value in, 2016-1201, it's going to say, oh, we can't even take that in. So it's going to clear that cell. I have to enter a value now that's after that. So if I hit 120, that's going to be okay. Now I might want to also make sure that I have uh, a particular type of data here. So let's uh, let's go ahead and select this column, and we're or the values in this column. We're going to go to data, data validation, and uh, this is let's say that these product codes we have these seven-digit product codes. So we can go ahead and say a number, and we can say well the number should be if it's seven digits it should be greater than one zero 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 zero, and then then we can show a warning here, and we can say. Uh, product code should be seven digits. In fact, if we wanted to go even further than that, we could say it should be greater than, and then greater. Th we should be between uh, this number and then say this number plus one or plus uh, one more zero. So if we save that and we enter a product code that maybe isn't long enough, well, we get this little indicator saying, oh, well, there's probably a problem there. So if we try to enter a number that's much larger. Here we're going to say this one's okay because it's going to include that number in the between, but we should, let's say we say 99999, there we go, that one's going to be okay. So we don't have a problem. Uh, so let's say we have a, you know, some product code here, and we can also make sure that this is some kind of valid price. Maybe our prices are between $8 and $20. We can also validate this column. We'll go ahead and select that data. We'll go to data validation, and we will say, let's make sure that this is a number and we could say this is a number um, that is less than 1,000. Maybe we don't sell any products that are less than or that are more than $1,000. So we could just reject that outright because we don't want to keep track of bad numbers. So let's go ahead and save that. Now if I try to enter a number that's very large, I'm going to get an error that says you can't do that. You just can't do that. So let's say this product was $13.99. Now we also have, maybe we want to enter the store location. You know, we can see we have three locations listed. We have Shadyside, Oakland, and Squirrel Hill. Uh, we could actually find that pretty easily if we use the unique formula. It'll tell us unique, and then we could select all of those values. And if we hit enter, you can see it's just going to show us what the unique values are there. But we don't want that. Now we might want something else that we'll get to in just a moment. But for now, we could just validate that it's one of these values. So we can select our, our column here. We can go to data validation and we can say well we want to make sure that this is a, a list so let's pick a list of items and we could say shady side Oakland Squirrel Hill and we can say that's eh, we'll say it's show the drop-down list this is nice because when I save this anytime I select one of these I don't have to type it out I can just pick it from this list which is good but we don't necessarily want to keep track of all our stores there we might want to create a new tab where we keep track of our stores. So store locations. Now we could say Oakland here, Squirrel Hill here, and Shady Side. And instead of having to enter this list, we could select these values. We could go to data validation and we could pick from a list from a range. So now we just can click this icon and we can select our data. And maybe we want to select multiple values here in case we create additional uh, locations later. We hit OK save that and now it's still okay but we can pick we can pick from this list and if I try to type something in here 
it's going to give me that indicator again. It's not one of the valid values, so we can just clear that out. So data validation does make it a little bit easier to pick out from a, a list of values as well as validate the data you're actually entering to make sure that it conforms to what you need for each one of your entries. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll be back with a little bit more information on uh, reporting and filtering and just kind of showing off the data and the spreadsheets that you've built.